Growing up here, it was strange because I'd come from a place where I saw people that looked like me all the time. You know, I, I, my neighbours looked like me, the people I went to school with looked like me. Me being black wasn't a, a topic. All of a sudden I was the, um, in most instances, the only black person in my school. Um, I never saw anybody that had hair like me or had skin colour like me or my parents or my siblings. I remember my sisters and I used to um, um, play this game where we'd put um, skivvies on our heads and pretend that we had, you know, long flowing hair just because all of a sudden that was what everybody else at school had. When I think about it now, it is quite sad that we felt that was what was beauty and that's what we should have been like. There is a sense of togetherness in otherness. As long as you're not white, um, you can relate to almost anybody in some way. I had um, close friends that were from different parts of the world, not necessarily Australia, so Fiji, Indian, um, Asians, um, and so we kind of bonded um, over that shared experience of, you know, being the other. I do think that attitudes towards African Australians have shifted, and sadly I don't think they've shifted positively. Young African Australians, particularly young African Australian males, um, they've been you know, labelled criminals, they've been labelled um, members of gangs. Now that I have a son, it, it, it almost breaks my heart to think that I'm going to have to have these real and serious conversations with him about, you know, having to make other people feel safe around him. Advice I'd give to a young African Australian, um, I really, really wish I could say it, it it's going to be colour blind. Um, you're going to live in a society where no one is judging you based on what you look like, your ethnicity, your cultural background. I really wish I could say that, um, but I don't think I can. Unfortunately, you can't control other people's prejudice, despite how misplaced that prejudice is, but you do have the power to control how you respond.